regular degula, bloody bar. I swear to God, they ain't wanna see me leave the club. Got up on my shit, now they scared to show me love. They'd rather see me on the pole, twerking it for thugs. I guess I really gotta show them what the fuck is up. I'm on some other shit, that Cardi B gutter shit. Every time I catch a hating bitch, she on her stutter shit. I can't finish her words, but on Instagram, thuggy shit. You set yourself up, don't make it seem like I be bugging, bitch. And niggas hate. Hey, you guys, good morning. And today I'm doing a story time, and it just happened. And I'm going to tell you what's going to go happen. And it's a disappointment for me and my little sister. I don't know about her. She's doing her. My little sister is doing her. She has a job. You know, she was off yesterday. Um, but me, on the other hand, when I heard, I was hurt. I was very hurt and I was very angry because of the whole situation. No. Let me explain the whole situation. Okay, so, um, apparently my brother, the one that you guys have been seeing, Danny, um, he was in jail for a little, uh, like 16 years or so, he was in jail. He got out and he came to my mom's. Okay, so last night he messaged me, he's like, look, I'm gonna have to go back to Texas and da-da-da, and I, uh, got... You know, I kind of talked to mom about her attitude, and she got upset, and she left, and I'm afraid she's going to go get a bottle, drink, you know, because uh, she is an alcoholic, and I don't know, like, I am so fucking disappointed in him, like, I've barely seen him, like, two to three times, so I'm not really, you know, key on him as much as I am with, you know, my little sister. I've had my little sister my whole life, and you know... What's fucked up about our family is, like, me and my little sister, we went through adoption together. We've been there for each other since we were born. But the thing is, like, our other brothers, we have Tara, me and my little sister have Tara, David, and Danny. So, Tara, she has four kids. She's not really around to help us, me and my sister. David, he's on crack, mind you, and no, I do not do crack. Just because my family does shit does not mean I do shit, okay? The only thing I do is smoke weed every once in a while. That's it. And then Danny, he's a whole other mess, and he's on parole, and that's the one I'm talking about in this story. Um, I'm not even going to make up names, because why should I? It's my family, but... um. I was quite upset last night when he told me that. I was like, what the fuck, dude? He's like, well, I'm going to have to leave because there's too much drama and I'm going to have to go back to Texas. Mind you, I know he has females he talks to. He's a fucking player, okay? He has like three different females he's fucking talking to. Which he could, out of all three of those, though, he could take those fucking females. Two, I know some of those females live in Texas, okay? You put two and two together, you know what I mean, okay? So, I was like, okay, just bail on me and my sister like everybody else has. Like, nobody's really there for me, not even our mom. Our mom, like, when Danny went to mom's, he knew what was happening because um, Danny hasn't lived with his real mom, our mom, his whole life. He lived with his grandma because my mom gave her son, Danny, to the grandma to, you know, take care of. But, um, you know, I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. Like, I'm not going to trust you any more than... I already trust you because you burned it. Like, you're going to go back to Texas. Spell on me and my sister. Like, you think, have, he's only known his real mom in person for only two to three months. Think how Tara and David feel. They've had mom their whole fucking lives, bro. And think how me and Nikki feel. We've at least known our crazy ass mother Two to three years. Like, he thinks knowing Ma... Like, if he can't handle Ma for two to three months... Really? And then he's like, oh, well, 
There's too much drama. I was like, no matter where you go in life, there's going to be drama. Handle it like a fucking man. Solve your issues and get it done and over with. The fuck? I don't understand. Like, yeah, I've had drama with my mother. You guys have seen that shit. Like, you have, you have heard the shit that my mom does. She doesn't want anyone happy because she's not happy. She don't want anyone to be better than her and do better than her. Sorry for talking shit about my mom, but it's true. And the funny fact is, my mom's ex-husband, which they're going through court, and da-da-da, right? Well, he called me, he's like, what's going on? Danny's saying that you're arguing with him, or you guys are in a fight. He says, well, um, I'm tired of people bailing on me and my sister. And I'm tired of them saying they're okay, sorry guys, it cut off because my alarm went off for this morning, because I need an alarm, so I take my pills. <laughs> Because I'm starting my birth control pills today, so I gotta have an alarm so I don't forget. And it's really important that I don't forget so I don't end up pregnant. But, um, as I was saying, um, when me and Danny were fighting last night, um, my mom's ex-husband calls and my mom and them are going through court, you know. <clears throat> my mom call or not my mom, um... My mom's ex-husband calls, and he's like, what's going on? You and Danny are fighting out here, and what's going on? I was like, first of all, he's going back to Texas. And he did tell me this morning on Thursday he's going back to Texas of this week. I said, first of all, he's going back to Texas when he promised me and my sister that he'd be there for us and not bail. So I don't trust him, period, end of story. And, you know, I, I barely know him. I've only seen him two to three, three times at my mom's because he lives at my mom's right now. But um, I've only seen him that many times. And I'm not going to keep on forgiving people for bailing out on me when you're supposed to be there for your family. You're supposed to be there. When shit gets rough, you're supposed to be there. No matter what, you're supposed to be there, okay? And the thing is, I'm worried about Nikki. Nikki is getting back into the hood rats and shit. And doing shit for the hood rats when they don't do shit for her. You know what I mean? She's one of those. She gets easily influenced. And she's so nice that, you know, she gives stuff off her back and shit. And they don't do shit for her. They're just using her in the hood. So, because my mom lives in the hood. So, um... You know, if he leaves to Texas, what's that, what is that going to do to Nikki? Like, what is, he doesn't think about what it's going to do to Nikki, of all things. You know what I mean? Like, and then, after that, he's like, well, you do know that Danny and Mom went to the bar yesterday for karaoke, and Mom fell off of one of the stools at the bar, and Danny had to bring her home. I was like... What? Like, Danny knows not to bring my mom. Like, when my mom drinks, she's an alcoholic. She is not nice, okay? I don't know why the fuck, in the first place, excuse my language, I don't know why you would bring her to a bar in the first place when you know. Do not bring her around alcohol. Period. End of story. So, I think now my mom is drunk and trying to... I don't know. Danny's saying that she brought the freaking bottle home with her and he didn't go with her. But I don't know what story to fucking believe. But the moral of this thing is, like, my mom, mom last night, I told her, if you keep treating people like you're drunk and you're out of your damn mind. I told her that. She's like, I'm tired of being this and this and this and disrespected and treated like shit and da da da. I says, well... If you treat if you treat people with respect, you get respect. If you would treat people right, you want to get treated like shit, okay? That's my main thing. Like if you're going to treat somebody like shit and kick out your kids with you know, that house that my mom lives in, she doesn't pay nothing, okay? She doesn't pay nothing. Her ex-husband does, okay? He's a truck driver. He goes and leaves, and she stays at home, and da-da-da, you know the whole fucking story. And then he comes in every once in a while. But, I was like, 
how would you feel like I told her I was like if you keep treating people the way you treat people even your family and your and kicking your kids out of a house that isn't even yours to where they have no option but to go somewhere else how are you gonna feel once you go to court and the court says oh you have to get out of your ex-husband's house how are, and nobody helps you with a place or somewhere to stay be, because you're such a pain in the ass and you treat people like shit what's gonna happen when that happens to you like you do to others okay I don't like that shit like you kick your kids out your kids of all fucking things when you know they don't have anything they don't have a place to go they don't have anywhere to go okay I was like how are you gonna feel when court says that you're demanded to get out of his, your ex-husband's house and you have to pay for shit and be thankful for shit because you got nowhere to go just like you do to your kids how are you gonna feel And I did remind her, like, Joel Olstein, she watches that every Sunday. It's like a sermon, basically. And I was like, what does Joel Olstein tell you to do? Yeah, you listen to it, but you don't do it. Okay? And she treats people like shit. And when she's drunk, you don't even want to be near her. She's one of those kind of people. I'm sorry to talk shit about my mother. Praise God, help me. But she's one of those people... That when you want to go somewhere and have fun with somebody, you don't bring her. We don't bring, me and Nikki or Tara or David don't bring Ma because she finds something to pick at and make an argument at. She could literally be sitting on her chair smoking weed like she usually does in, in not her house and find something to nag at to pick a fight at somebody, okay? Or she's just plain negative or she complains and ain't nobody wants somebody around that complains but anyways the main thing about this story time is I'm keeping my distance from my brother you know I'm tired of being burned I'm tired of people bailing on me I'm tired of all that shit I'm tired of trusting people I'm tired of it and, you know, he thinks I don't understand, and I do understand, because guess what? I'm not living at my mama's house anymore, because of the same fuck exact reason. But the thing is, like, he promised Nikki and I that he'd stay, and he wouldn't bail, and that we could trust him. But since he's moving to Texas, I told him straight up, I can't trust you. You bailed on us, end the fucking story. Like, you bailed on us. Period, end of story. Just because shit got rough. You can't handle it like a man so that you could be there for your sisters. Mind you, we don't have sisters that are there for us. We don't have our other brother. He's high off crack, okay? So we can't, we really don't have anybody there to protect us and shit, you know? And it's just fucked up. And I know he's also going to Texas because there's hoes in Texas that he knows and cool he wants some pussy cool but you don't bail on your family just to do that you don't you don't do that shit and I don't understand why you would do that like try to fix the fucking problems try to do what you can as a man like apologize do what you gotta do and that's one thing about my mom even if she's wrong she do not pop she does not apologize worse shit and it pisses me off like if you're in the wrong apologize like I don't I don't get it like I don't fucking get it but anyways guys um I need to take this too. so let me take these birth control pills <sighs> so I'm gonna start on Monday right here Let's get. And this is going to regulate my periods and stuff too, so let's see how it goes. But anyways, guys, this is the story time. 
of I'm so disappointed in my brother. Anyways, guys. I love you guys, like and subscribe, and if you guys ever have issues with your family like I'm having them, drop them down below in the comments and maybe we can talk about it. Um, my Snapchat is StarlaSimmons21. Um, if you guys want to... Sorry, I'm having a hard time talking this morning. I just woke up. Um, if you guys want to actually... Um, send me questions or anything like that that I could answer to you guys just snapchat me at Starless Simmons 21 um, my kick you can also do it on my kick um, it's Starless Simmons um, uh, I can't remember what my Instagram is but um, I'll put it in as a screenshot of all my um, of all of my stuff after this video so that you guys have it. Um, I love you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed the story time. Um, I'm not too sure if I'm going to make a vlog today because I need to clean. So just be patient with me. I'll make a vlog tomorrow even though I don't really do much. Um, I love you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. Comment down below. Love you guys and I hope you guys have a good day. Bye guys.